Greetings to everyone. This is Rally G and I would like to welcome you sa ating pong channel na The Billings Ovulation Method Series. This channel will give you an understanding of the authentic Billings Ovulation Method of natural family planning discovered and developed by Drs. John and Evelyn Billings together with Professors Eric Odeblad and James Brown. Kaya subaybayan niyo po ang mga episodes natin ng The Billings Ovulation Method series. Sa akin pong pagtuturo ng Billings Ovulation ay gagamit po ako ng tinatawag nating slide rule. Ito po ay dinedelop din sa Australia ni Drs. John and Evelyn Billings. Ang slide rule po ay representation ng mga iba't ibang bahagi ng siklo ng isang babae. Ang kulay pula o the red color, ito po ay nagre-represent ng tinatawag nating menstrual bleeding o regla. Ito po ay isang discharge na nararanasan ng isang babae. Ang isa pang discharge ay tinatawag nilang white mens, puting regla, mucus. Ito po yung color white sa ating slide. No? Kaya pag makakakita kayo ng white sa aking discussion, isipin nyo ito yung tinatawag na white mens or mucus na lumalabas sa isang babae na isa rin uri ng discharge. No? So dalawa ang discharge, either ito ay menstrual period or mucus, white mens o lusaw in Filipino. Ngayon nakakakita rin kayo ng color green. No? Yan po ay ibig sabihin tuyo. Ibig sabihin ng tuyo or dry, walang nakikitang discharge sa underwear at ang pakiramdam ng isang babae would be totally dry. So, i-discuss ko po yan sa inyo sa ating mga tinatawag na episodes ng The Billings Ovulation Method Series. May isa pa pong color. Ito po yung color yellow. Meron po tayong specific episode para sa color yellow. Pero for now, mag-focus lang tayo sa men's color red. Yung white men's mucus. Ito po yung color white sa ating slide rule. At ang color green meaning tuyo at walang nakikitang discharge. Yan po ang aking tinatawag na slide rule. Now, in order to have an overview of the billing simulation method, please watch this video prepared by the World Organization of the Ovulation Method Billings International. Your reproductive system is wonderfully complex, yet the signals it gives you can be quite simple, helping you identify the fertile and infertile times in your cycle. You may have noticed different types of discharge throughout your menstrual cycle. The sensation that this discharge produces at the vaginal opening, called the vulva, also changes. This is because your cervix produces different types of mucus in response to changing hormone levels. Your cycle begins with menstrual bleeding, when the lining of your uterus, called the endometrium, is shed. Following menstruation, your cervix becomes blocked by a thick plug of mucus that prevents sperm from entering the uterus. This means that you are infertile. Many women feel dry at the vulva during this time. Other women notice a pattern of discharge that feels and looks the same day after day. The number of days that you experience this unchanging pattern will determine the length of your cycle. In an average cycle, this pattern of infertility lasts for a few days. If your cycle is short, you may not experience any days of this infertile pattern. In a longer cycle, you will have more. Early in your cycle, the pituitary gland in your brain begins to secrete a hormone called follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH. FSH stimulates the growth of a group of follicles in your ovaries. Each follicle contains an egg and a bundle of surrounding cells that secrete the hormone estrogen. Estrogen activates the cervix to produce the mucus essential for fertility. This is the start of the fertile phase. The fertile phase, shown here using a baby symbol, begins a few days before ovulation. One type of mucus produced by the cervix dissolves the plug which means sperm can now enter the uterus. Another type of mucus filters out damaged sperm cells. Yet another type nourishes the sperm, so they can live for up to five days in your reproductive system. 
It forms channels which help the sperm travel through your reproductive system to meet and fertilize the egg. You become aware of your developing fertility by the changes in the mucus that you feel and see at the vulva. You will notice that you feel increasingly wet and then slippery, and you may see mucus that becomes thinner and clearer. The last day of the slippery feeling is called the peak of fertility. It is very close to the time of ovulation. As one follicle nears maturity, the pituitary gland is stimulated to release a surge of another hormone called luteinizing hormone, or LH. LH triggers ovulation, the release of the egg from its follicle. The egg is swept up into the fallopian tube, ready to begin its journey towards the uterus. If fertilization doesn't occur, the egg will die within a day of ovulation. But if the egg meets any sperm along the way, fertilization can take place. After ovulation, the empty follicle is transformed into the corpus luteum. The corpus luteum produces a hormone called progesterone. Progesterone prepares the endometrium in case there's a fertilized egg ready to implant. It also causes the mucus to thicken and the plug to begin forming in the cervix again. The day following the peak, you'll no longer feel wet or slippery at the vulva. By the end of three days after the peak, your fertility for this cycle is over. About two weeks after ovulation, a new cycle begins. We can now see how essential cervical mucus is for fertility. Once you're familiar with your patterns, you'll be able to identify your fertile and infertile times. This knowledge can help you to achieve or avoid pregnancy. It can also help you to safeguard your reproductive health as you'll be able to recognize changes which might need medical investigation. This is knowledge that every woman ought to have. Yan po ang overview ng Billings Ovulation Method at isa-isa po nating tatalakayin yan sa mga darating nating episodes. Kaya ini-invite ko po kayong lahat na mag like at mag-subscribe sa ating channel at paki-click din po ang ating notification bell para updated kayo sa mga darating na episodes. No? Ang unang episode natin ng The Billings Ovulation Method Series will be The Four Phases of the Cycle Studied and Developed by Drs. John and Evelyn Billings. Good day po sa inyong lahat at iintayin ko po kayo lahat sa ating first episode ng ating channel, The Billings Ovulation Methods Series. Marami pong salamat.